Okay guys, good morning for hey, a couple more minutes. We're in the car again. We're in the car again. It's just before lunch. We have a Masonic barbecue potluck thing to go to today, later today for dinner. And um, we needed to bring, we're bringing dessert. So we needed to go to the store. Dessert so snacks. Dessert snack, yeah. So we did that. Yep. Now we're gonna head back home again. Have a light lunch and get some more chores done at home that I should have done yesterday. One of which is working right now. I made bread, so. Um, yeah, got, sh got shit to do. Big surprise. You're gonna get, you're gonna get the monetized. Yeah, well, I always it's click the abbreviated foul language checkbox. Okay. So, you know. Anyway, so we're back in the car again. We went back home after doing some shopping and I got all the collage work done for the rest of August and I got everything prepped upstairs for September and I'll film getting September's journal ready but I had to get on camera right now because we're on our way to the Masonic picnic and you guys, Mr. Bob got lost. I didn't get lost, the GPS told me to go the wrong way. That, anyway. Guys, that was a lot of fun, met a lot of really nice people. Do I remember their names? No. Um, the Worshipful Master of Bob's Masonic Lodge here in Oregon has decided I have a nickname because he can't seem to remember that my name is Gina. Turn right onto Southwest 190th Avenue. So my nickname, are you ready for it? It's Gigi. Gigi. That's all right, I'm all right with it. Growing up, it was either Brace Face or Four Eyes, so Gigi's fine. It's an improvement. Very much an improvement. Anyway, we're going to drive some back roads and do a little exploring on the way home and yeah. Yes. The video you're about to see is me prepping the September Daily Drawing Journal. Now, as we cut away here to the footage of me at the, at the table, you'll see that I start with the cover. I always start with the cover. I decorate it with stickers and little bits and pieces from my stash. Um, and then I cover the whole thing with clear packing tape. Now, I started doing this to use up some stuff in my stash. You know, use it or lose it. Well, that was a big failure because I've just acquired more since then because I enjoy doing this. So I guess it's a win-lose situation. I don't know. Anyway, the next thing I do is usually print the um, random doodle word list or inspiration word list inside the cover. But I realized as I was opening the book, I didn't have one of them printed yet. So I started with decorating the pages instead. And I also had an aha moment with that in that I realized that instead of collaging, creating collages on the pages, I have a bunch of paper clusters that are already made. Why can't I just use those? The answer to that is there's no reason. You can of course use those. So that's what I did. I pulled out the paper clusters. I put everything else away and I just started going to town decorating the pages. Some of the clusters are library pockets and some of them are um, not, um, but that's good because that gives me a space that if I'm, I've taken the journal with me because I'm seeing family or I'm traveling or something else special has happened, I have a pocket somewhere in the journal I can put something in. And I actually like that because this does usually come with me wherever I'm going. Um, it was super easy. I did find them with the clusters because they're a little heavier. Um, that I put my normal glue stick on the back, but then also some Elmer's glue. Now I use a moleskin type journal, so the paper's a little thin. So yes, it did wrinkle the paper a little bit. Am I super concerned? No. I'm going to doodle on it, journal on it, write on it, color on it. Uh, things show through. It shows some wear and tear by the end of the month, and I'm I'm good with that. I love the way it turned out, and on the very back page... I ended up putting an extra library pocket, which has a card in it. And, um, you know, if anything um, special or extraordinary happens in the month, um, I have now a card, a place to put that. And, um, you know, I kind of like I kind of like that idea. There's also an extra page in the back um, because September only has 30 days. And usually I take the extra page out, but this time I'm not going to. And again, if something happens or something I want to write about or add extra pieces to, I have the room for that. And um, this is much easier to carry with me despite its thickness than a whole giant bag full of stuff. 
Um, is it any thicker than what they normally are at the end of the month? Well, a little bit, but honestly, they get pretty puffy. So um, if you do something like this, you happen to have paper clusters laying around, um, you do some kind of daily drawing every day, I do recommend, and I do love the idea of having the pages pre-decorated, and then all you do is do your journaling, do your writing, maybe do a couple of doodles, and it, it really, I don't know if it's just breaking the blank page, you know, because their pages are no longer white, or I don't know, it's just convenient to have to not have to do that step and to be able to bypass that step. I do have a few random sticker things and some washi in the front. Again, in case I do come across something um, during the month that I want to add in an additional, but yeah, I think this was a really good idea. Prepping your journals ahead of time, it's a thing. Hey guys, I am working on a new crochet project, a, a sweater vest thing out of some of the um, wool yarn I bought when we were in Virginia. And um, that's turning out really well. I got the front done today. I'll work on the back. We are obviously outside. We're we'll going for a walk. It is beautiful. It's in the mid 70s. A little bit of a breeze. We've already eaten dinner. We're going to just go for a quick walk because it's been so hot. We haven't done nearly enough of that. And on the weekends when I, we are going to probably go to the gym, we end up not doing that because one go? or both where did we go where do we go the kids house the kids house helping them with their construction Doing construction well he does i help with the babysitting Do I look like I've been babysitting? <laughs> it's babysitting day. The clip you just saw was filmed by my grandson, Junior. He's only four and a half months old and he really likes playing with the camera on Oma's phone. So I let him. I know I'm probably not supposed to. Don't tell the daughter. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. He was real good today. Not that he's ever bad. I mean, he's only four and a half months old. And when even when he's crabby, he's good. Anyway, we had a fun time today. But he's gone home for the day. My husband is going over there after work to help um, Junior's dad out with construction that's going on at their house. And I'm going to just stay here. I'm going to work on my sweater that I've been working on and do some journaling and all that stuff. So sounds like a good plan to me. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I haven't hemmed it yet, but it does fit. It actually fits pretty well. I would probably wear a tank top underneath it because, yeah, it's a little low, but that's the cut of the dress. There's like, I mean, I could do some more alterations to the pattern. I don't think I want to. I could also just wear a strapless bra with the dress, but um, 
for on camera. That's as flashy as I'm gonna get. Anyway, I, I like it. I do think I'm gonna save the cotton one. I'm gonna mark where I want the hem to be because I do think it's a little long. Maybe, hold on. Still can't see it. I have to get all the way out here. Yeah. I think it's, a, maybe it's not as long as I think it is. I actually think it might be nice this way. So I guess I just have to hem it and then we can dye it maybe blue, maybe green. I don't know yet. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. We not only got the mock-up done today, but I'm two-thirds done with the actual garment in the real fabric. You ready? She's kind of cute. Yep. I kind of like her. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is after seven o'clock, Thursday, August 24th, I think. Yeah. I didn't vlog all day today because I was busy with Junior. Look at that pretty sun, look at that. Well, anyway, you? yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I called myself ugly. <laughs> I got a love tap from the husband. I'm not supposed to do that, self-deprecating, anyway. I had the joy of babysitting Junior all day today. Well, most of the day today, it was great. Even when he's fussy, he's great. Anyway, he wasn't that fussy. He's a good... Mr. Bob sold one of his cars. No, not Adrian. Not Adrian. Not the Barracuda. No. The little red one that he used to use for his daily driver. But he hasn't since before COVID, so... Had it for a long time. 13 years. Yeah. So he sold it, it's off to a new owner. A uh, nice young man who I think is gonna get good use out of it. And we're wish gonna him. look for a truck. We wish him the best. We wish him all the best with it. Yep. Anyway, it is late in the day as I said, but we decided after dinner, it's been icky, temperatures all day, but now it's semi okay, less icky. I don't know. We're gonna go get a few steps in, see what we can see. You guys, I moved to Oregon to get away from some of this heat. What the hell happened? I think it followed me. It's summertime, dear. It's hot this summer. It's not always this hot. This is it yucky. It's like a couple of days a year. This is more than that. Ugh. All right. <laughs> I'll be back. Hey, everybody. It is 10.03 a.m. Friday, August 25th, I believe. Uh, family dinner night. So the kids are coming over tonight for dinner and it means I get to see Junior again yay um, but it also means I need to go get some food <laughs> so as usual we're probably making pizza tonight so I need to go get pizza fixings I also want to run a couple of other errands so we're gonna go get that done I need to repot some plants I don't want to buy new pots they're too expensive and I'm really trying to make a concerted effort to not add to uh, I hesitate to use the word consumerism but I think that's it I mean I add to it plenty enough already but where I can go reuse something or thrift for something uh, rather than buying a new something I'm gonna do that so that includes flower pots and uh, yeah because I need to replant seatbelt. I need to replant some flower pots um, today or tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go do that. Um, the other thing is, oops, it rained last night. We had thunder and lightning last night. Like it was a thing. To the point where I couldn't sleep until like it stopped like I don't know two or three o'clock in the morning it woke Bob up like nothing wakes Bob up you guys man sleeps like the dead 
The only thing that ever woke him up out of a sound sleep was our daughter when she would start crying. He was, that was the only thing he ever heard. But he heard the thunder and lightning last night and the rain. It, it was, yeah, so it was a thing. Middle of summer and of course now it's back to 91 degrees today. So anyway, I guess the rainy season is coming soon. Okay, anyway, and I see an estate sale sign back that way, so we might have to go look at that. All right, I'll be back. Guys, I know I look like crap, but it's like, I don't even know what time is it. 8.34 p.m. Friday, August 25th, 20, I don't know. It's Friday. I don't know what day it is. 20, yeah, 25th. I finished my sweater vest. And I would wear it with this shirt that I have on, or I have a couple of long sleeve men's shirts, not with these pants because I have bike shorts on, but this is cute. Hold on. It has to be blocked still, but how cute is that? Anyway, I just finished that. So now I can do some daily drawing and stuff that I need to do for the night. And then tomorrow we have a full day, which I'll get into tomorrow. All right, I'll be back. By the way, I'll link the pattern for this sweater uh, in the description below. If I had a little more yarn, I probably, I, I would have made it a little longer, but I don't know if I would have needed to, honestly. I think the length it is, and if I wore it like this with this sort of puffy sleeved blouse or one of the men's shirts I have in here um, and some of my dad pants, I mean, this is cute. Yeah. We were just discussing the fact that I've had two cups of coffee and it's not enough. Because I said, I feel like I'm going on the freeway, not the airport. We are on the freeway. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Marsha. Anyway, we are, as you can tell from Marsha, uh, I headed on to I-84. We are in Portland. We are... Exit to exit 300, I-84. She interrupts a lot. Um, she's, she's such a nag. Yeah, Certainly. it's Saturday morning, August 26th. It's 10.06 a.m. We are headed over to a car dealership to look at a car. We sold one of our cars um, earlier this week, a couple days ago. And um, Mr. Bob really wants a truck. So we are headed over to look at a used truck today. And we will see what happens with that. Yeah. Um, I'll let y'all know later. And uh, at some point we need to go grocery shopping and stuff today. And of course, as soon as we get in the car, I've got messages, chats, edits to do on videos on YouTube and all kinds of YouTube stuff going on, which I'm trying to do for my phone. It's interesting. Anyway, all right, I got to do this so Mr. Pop can see where he's going. I know, I can't see. <laughs> blocking, blocking the mirror. I know, sorry. Anyway, so we will... Um, get that done. I got that done, but it was challenging. Anyway, we're going to get on the road here and get where we need to go and I'll keep you all posted. I'll be back. Let you know what happens. Yep. We'll let you know what happens. Guys, I'm in the car again, but by myself. Because yes, Mr. Bob bought a truck. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm headed home. I had to stop and get uh, gas. And of course I saw a Goodwill that I had to stop at. You know, So I did find a couple of sweaters, even though it's like 100 degrees outside. I know it's weird, anyway. I am, um, I did the Goodwill thing, I did the gas thing, and now I'm, I'm gonna head home. I'm starving, I haven't had lunch yet. And then later on today, maybe Mr. Bob and I will go to the grocery store. But yeah, it's been a productive day so far. I'll be back. But fun fact, Mr. Bob- In half a mile, use the right lane to turn right onto West Powell.
Hey guys, it is, what time is it? 8.26 in the evening, still on Saturday. Let me put the phone down somewhere. Hang on, let me find it. Table's a little messy. <laughs> oh boy. So um, I went out thrifting today, just to one, just one Goodwill store after Bob bought his truck. Yes, he did buy the truck. Um, we needed a new, more comfortable car. He has his vintage car. He had a little red sports car. And we have my old Subaru. And by old, I mean old. She's old. Um, she doesn't have a lot of miles on her, but she is old. And her seats aren't super comfortable for like long trips or anything anymore. Not to mention she needs some work done. So, um... Although I told him he didn't have to sell the red sports car if he didn't want to, but I did think we needed something different. He said he wanted to sell it. It's not really good for driving most of the time in Oregon. Um, it does, it's, not, it's a city car. <laughs> and um, he really wanted a truck, so um, cool. And it's a big fancy truck, so I'm not mad about that. Anyway, so once we did that, I went thrifting and found a couple of things that... I don't think I'm going to, a couple of sweaters actually in a tank top, and I don't think I'm going to be altering any of them. Um, I like them the way they are. Um, that being said, I just reminded myself of something I need to um, see if I can find on Amazon. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so that was all good and fun. And then I came home and I started working on a new crochet pattern. I'll put a link down um, below for the pattern. I'm not done with it yet, um, but it does seem fairly easy to follow and it's crocheted from the neck down and it's crocheted in the round. So there's, when you're done, there's no seams, no seams. And if I like it as much as I think I might, I'll be making a couple more of them because it's really cute. I'm using some um, wool, more wool yarn, another, one more skein I got in Virginia, and then I have two skeins of a wool and alpaca blend um, that are super soft, but should go well with the other wool. And color-wise, they look great together. Um, so it'll be cream on the top, then I have a cream and tan uh, blend, and then I have tan. And it should, and they're all, yeah, so they all match, so that'll work well. All of this stuff is for... Um, blocking some of the things I've been making. I've got my granny squares here I've been working on. I've got this sweater vest I just finished, which needs to be blocked. I also have some balls of yarn for another project I want to be working on. I want to make a grant more granny squares, but I want to make them out of this yarn, which is some wool yarn, and it seems to be a really nice wool. Make a bunch of granny squares and then sew them together as a sweater. However, if I really like this pattern I'm working on right now, this might be coming out of one of those. <laughs> anyway, it's really pretty color, variegated colors, if you can see that. So anyway, <laughs> tell me something around here. Hold on. Anyway, it's been an interesting week. I've got some projects coming up that I'm pretty excited about, along with continuing my um, renewed interest in sewing and needlework. Um, which is always in the back of my mind. Fun fact, that's where my creative journey started. Uh, anyway, uh, it's been a great week. An interesting, busy, hugely busy week. And next week's going to be the same. So anyway, um, I hope you guys stuck it through to the end of the video. If you want to support the free content here on YouTube, uh, please think about supporting my Patre Patreon. They have ready access to me in a private Facebook chat. And also, um, I send them um mood boards and designs and answer questions and all, all kinds of stuff like that on a regular basis they also have a preview of uh, videos um some of which you never see here uh they have access to videos you guys have never seen on this channel and won't ever see they have their own youtube channel so if you're interested in any of that and supporting the free content i sure would appreciate appreciate it so ch uh, check out the video description for that and any other relevant links including my happy mail address and all that stuff um, don't forget to like share and subscribe go out and have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it i'll see you later bye guys